wasn't just Miller who got killed today. A year and a half of hard work got shot down with it. A year and a half of trying to get that guy Benamo. And nothing, Steve, nothing, nothing, nowhere. And then Miller agrees to testify. Yeah. Gambling? Yeah, gambling. Listen, we, we've raided Benamo's games before. We've, we've impounded his marked decks. We've, uh, we've picked up his customers. But no testimony, nobody willing to say a thing until... until Miller. A guy like that doesn't come along very often. A guy with guts. Had he been trimmed? Yeah, 180,000. But when I convinced him that the games were crooked, he was willing to testify. And then he came back at me last week and he said he changed his mind. No testimony. Why? Had he been threatened? <laughs> Slightly. A car tried to run him down one night. Then he got a phone call. The near miss was on purpose. And the next one wouldn't miss. He was going to be a mud spot and his bride. I worked hard, Steve. I convinced him that he wasn't going to have a life without any trouble, that he was going to be under Benamo's thumb all the time. And that made him angry enough, and he decided to testify. That's when we got him under protection. We got him under that John Doe. And that's when you came into the picture. What shall I say, Steve? A mistake in judgment. Look, don't tell me I made a mistake. I'll tell you, I blew it, top to bottom. Somebody counted on me to deliver the body, and I did. That building wasn't picked by accident. Somebody knew my routine down to the fact that I went to that barber every Tuesday. They knew that I'd get to the girl first. They knew that I could deliver Miller faster than anybody else. I was twisted, manipulated, used. Now, you want Barry Bonamo, I'll give you Barry Bonamo. On a plate, but not for gambling. Murder. Murder one. Oh.